Well, today I'm out at Fort Worden State Park. This is my favorite state park in the Seattle area. Uh, that is Washington State. Uh, there are some other state parks that people seem to like better, but this is my favorite. Uh, this is a sprawling park, and it's just outside of the uh, town of Port Townsend, another one of my favorite places here in Washington. So Fort Worden here is in the Olympic Peninsula, which is a little bit north uh, west of Seattle, so a little ways from Seattle. Uh, this area is uh, a little preferable, I think, because uh, it's a little cooler here. At least this time of year it's preferable. Maybe not so preferable in the winter time because this area uh, is cooler in the summer versus Seattle, but definitely colder in the winter uh, compared to Seattle. So I'm happy that we have a nice cool day here because I have a couple things I want to get accomplished, but it is quite windy here. Uh, uh, the wind's making my eyes water, and it's uh, a little chilly uh, for right now. It's supposed to warm up a little bit as the day progresses, so let's hope so. But until then, I'm just going to pop back in the van here and get to my coffee. Well, it must be chillier than I was thinking because my coffee's already cold. Uh, oh well, I'll drink it up and I will make another cup. Uh, that'll solve the problem. Well, the wind is really picking up at times. I actually came here to Fort Worden and this nice big open parking lot uh, with the idea that I was going to use this space to get my bed out and do some refinements on it. Uh, last week I had built a new bed and it has been fantastic. This new bed is much more comfortable than my old bed ever was. The old bed was really wore out and it was time to replace it. I was putting off doing this big job. As it turned out, it wasn't that big of a job. It actually went really smoothly, and the fact that this bed is just so comfortable uh, really is uh, proof that it was a good project to take on. But it's not quite finished, and so I wanted to uh, take advantage of the space and just do a couple more little refinements to the bed. Um, unfortunately, that means I really need to get stuff out of the van, get the bed frame out, and uh, work on it outside. Not sure if the wind is going to cooperate though. Now if you happen to see the video from last week where I was building this bed, I did make a little mistake and I did mention that the bed is a little bit wider than my old bed and I was a little bit concerned about the space issue here. It's a small van and I try to keep a little galley area here so that I can shuffle back and forth. Uh, when I get up in the morning I like to uh, come over to my sink and then of course I slide over to make my coffee and breakfast. Now the mistake was not making the bed bigger, the mistake was bringing up the fact that I may have a little concern about the space. I should not have said that. I mentioned that just to show that it was part of what I was thinking about, part of the design process that goes through my head. I'm not a professional van builder, I'm not a professional carpenter, and so there's a bunch of things that I want to get in the design of the bed and to keep the flow of the van working. That's the only reason that I mentioned it. I should not have mentioned it uh, because, uh, like I mentioned a couple minutes later, to fix this, to make this smaller, to make any adjustments to it would be really easy. So I wasn't really concerned about making adjustments down the road. Um, that said, I'm not making any adjustments to this bed. I have enough room to shuffle back and forth. Uh, it is a little bit tighter over here uh, when I do get over to my sink, but I do have plenty of room, so that's not an issue. Uh, this all comes back to the fact that this is a much more comfortable bed for me to sleep on, and because my whole plan is to be out of the van as much as possible, I just want to keep in mind that when I am in the van, I'm either sleeping, so I want a more comfortable sleeping area, this bed gives me that. Uh, or if I am uh, getting up in the morning or sitting here and cooking, or sometimes I do work in the van, especially on a day like today that it's windy, I'd rather work in the van than uh, work outside uh, in the blustery wind. Uh, so I want to be able to sit upright. So the bed does all that, and it, this new bed does that even better than the old bed does, so there's not going to be any changes to the bed. I want to keep it simple. The old bed was much too heavy, much too complicated, and I really like the simplicity of this bed. And again, the fact that it's just so much more comfortable, uh, that 
just means everything. So that means it's gonna stay the way it is. So I'm gonna get started here, getting stuff out so I can get the bed frame out and do a little bit of refinement to it. Um, one thing is the wind is gonna hamper me on a little bit of something. Uh, I soaked some beans last night in anticipation of putting those on the stove and getting them cooked while I did all of this. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to be able to run my stove with the door open. So I have to get all this stuff out quickly and then I'll put the beans on. Probably close this door so that uh, the stove won't get extinguished with the wind. Um, so slight adjustments. Well, it's nice and warm up here in the cab, but Pretty chilly back in my living space and really chilly outside with this wind. Kind of want to put my jacket on, but hopefully uh, that'll just encourage me to work faster, right? Oh, one cool thing I just realized is because this bed frame is so much lighter, I don't need to take everything out of here like I did before. I can just lift this up over everything, get this out, do my work on it, set it back in place. This bed, new bed design, just so much better than the old one. All right, now that I've got this door shut here, I can get these beans on to cook because I'm gonna get hungry later. This, this is gonna be my dinner, well, lunch and dinner, and probably lunch and dinner tomorrow. Probably should have soaked a little bit more of them, but um, I was trying to not overload this bag. Uh, this is a silicone bag that I bought at Ikea. Uh, they come in a three pack and uh, there was a larger one. There's a smaller one here too. So this is the mid-size one. This one's a little bit smaller. And um, I was really happy with them, uh, mostly. Uh, they clean up really well. Uh, usually and then somebody asked me well, how do you get uh, them from you know being stained and I told them oh no problem whatsoever they just clean right up you know I just use some Dr. Bronner's on them and they clean right up they never stain not two weeks later do you know that the larger one of these got stained so bad that I could not uh, could not clean it out so I, I actually ended up throwing it out unfortunately I didn't mind the look of the stain but it was really stinky and smelly and uh, I just couldn't get the smell out so I, I ended up tossing it um, there is a one little flaw with these IKEA bags uh, that they don't seal themselves you can't just pinch close the top and have them stay shut you have to put this little slider attachment on otherwise they pop open and I wish that they were a little bit better uh, they'd be a little easier to use if they would just be able to zip close like a like a zip top bag um, but that is the only downside to these uh, price of these are really good uh, for the three and I imagine if you don't put some real heavy chili in them they would probably last a long time but I just happened to put some <laughs> strong chili in one of mine. Maybe I got it a little bit too hot too. I probably poured it in when it was really too hot. But uh, yeah, other than that, really good, useful bags to have around. Definitely a bit more room to move around in here without the bed. <laughs> but let's not dilly-dally because uh, it's a lot easier to sleep in here if you've got a nice comfortable bed. All right, these are on. Let me see, where's my lid? Put a lid on this. Check that in a minute. Let's get to work. So I've got a real simple job here to do. Uh, I just need to do a little bit of work on the edges of these boards. Uh, when I went in and looked at lumber to buy at Home Depot, I picked out what I wanted, uh, but then I went to a different Home Depot that was a little less busy and had a bigger parking area. I decided if I was going to take up space for most of the day, I wanted to go to a less busy store. So I went to the other Home Depot, which worked out really good. They were much less busy, uh, much bigger parking area, so I had a lot more space uh, that I could take up and use for a little while. 
Unfortunately, they didn't have the same lumber that I was looking at at the previous store. So I ended up buying this. Uh, not a big problem, but this lumber has a little bit of a sharp edge along the side. And if I get out of bed really quickly, uh, or kind of catch my leg or my hands under the edge here, I do feel it. So I went to the dollar store and bought a little sanding block. And um, hopefully, uh, I only bought one, so hopefully this will be enough. And I'll uh, just take the edge down a little bit. Uh, so it should be pretty quick. Okay, that was quick and easy. I'm happy about that. Uh, only took a couple of minutes to knock all the edges off. Uh, one thing is, uh, it did obliterate this little dollar store sanding block. There's nothing left with this. Probably should have bought two. That's what I was thinking, but this one was sufficient, so that's good. Um, although, no good for anything else at this point. Uh, so now that that easy job is done, check my beans really quick and make sure they're doing okay. And then I got one other job that is going to be a little bit more tricky. Now I've got a little bit of a tricky job to try to tackle. Um, I had to cut these slats down to size because these are made for a twin size bed. So I chopped a little bit off of each side of them. And when I did that, uh, I chopped off the webbing that holds these together. And on occasion, they move around just a little bit. They shift just a little bit. So I think I need to add that webbing back. And I have an idea of how I'm gonna do this. Uh, I have some carpet tape. Uh, this has been kicking around in the van for quite a while. Uh, and uh, instead of buying some more webbing, I have an old shower curtain from uh, my last apartment, actually. Uh, I've been using it for various things, uh, ground cloth and things like that. Uh, but I'm gonna sacrifice this. I'll just cut it up into strips because uh, it's the right length here. And I'll use this as webbing. Hopefully the carpet tape and the webbing will be enough. I came in to check on the beans to see how they were doing and realized that uh, the flame had been extinguished by the wind. I guess the wind's blowing so much that even though this door is closed, uh, it's coming in the back door and it actually is putting the flame out on the stove. So I'm gonna have to watch that. Another thing I gotta watch. Uh, but they're coming along all right. Um, <laughs> little wasted gas, but oh well. Okay, I'm almost done. I got partway through this and started cracking up at myself because I did it the hard way. Um, I spaced out the slats and then I uh, cut a piece of tape for each slat, which meant I had to get my scissors out and cut each one. I should have pushed them all together, ran a piece of tape across them and just sliced them with a knife. But anyway, uh, it was already done. So I, uh, I just carried on, just took an extra couple of minutes. Uh, no big deal. Um, seems to be working pretty well. Uh, these were originally stapled on from Ikea, but I don't have a stapler and I didn't want to buy a stapler since I don't really need a stapler for anything. And since I had some of this carpet tape, which I knew was super sticky, uh, this is Gorilla carpet tape, double-sided carpet tape. Um, I bought it for something, I don't remember what, uh, but it's just been kind of hanging around, so I figured use this up and why buy webbing if I have an old shower curtain that is basically webbing because that needed to get tossed out too. It's not really something I use all that much either. So this worked out really well. Uh, if it doesn't work, I'll, I'll buy or borrow a staple gun at some point in the future, but it seems to be working well. And then I have one last thing I'm gonna do here. So just to keep these slats stable, like uh, Ikea has kind of intended them to be and how they make their beds that these slats normally would fit into. Uh, I'm just gonna put a screw and a little uh, piece of plastic. I don't know what this is. This is another thing that I've had kicking around and uh, it's like a kind of a big washer more or less. So I'm going to just put a screw through this and drive it down in the corner. I'll have one on each corner and that will kind of help keep the slats in place, I think, along with uh, the webbing that we put on just now. Okay, I think I'm done and I can get everything put back in here. This has been a nice quick little job. I'm happy today.
Okay, that went pretty quick. I got everything back in place and looking good. I'm very happy with the result. Everything seems to be working well, so I uh, should be done with this project now, and now I can just enjoy my bed. Uh, you know what else I can enjoy? I can enjoy those beans that we just cooked. Uh, these beans that we cooked here today are a mix of two different kinds of beans. I went into the store to buy some pinto beans a couple weeks ago, and I didn't like the look of the pinto beans that they had. They, they looked inferior in quality. They had a bunch of split beans, and uh, yeah, they just didn't look good. So I bought a different kind of bean, something I wasn't familiar with, but uh, Rio Zappa beans. I saved the bag just to share with you in case you're interested in trying them yourself. Um, they're a much bigger bean than a pinto bean, but really creamy and a lot more flavorful uh, than a pinto bean. I, I really enjoyed these. Uh, fantastic beans. They're heirloom beans, so you might not be able to find them in every grocery store. I found these in a food co-op uh, down in Humboldt and um, really, really enjoyed them. Uh, used them up quite quickly, so I went to another store and bought some more beans, uh, and this time I bought my favorite of all beans. These are Anasazi beans, and these are a little more like pinto beans in the size of them, but again, a lot more flavorful and I think a lot more creamy texture to these uh, Anasazi beans. Uh, my favorite beans of all time. These are a little hard to find too, although I think they're usually a little easier to find than uh, these Rio Zape beans. But I just mix the two together to give me a big enough pot to cook at one time. Uh, if I'm gonna cook beans, obviously, I don't wanna cook just a few of them. So these are all cooked up, and I think I'm gonna make a burrito for myself because I've got some avocados, these little tiny avocados. I've got a whole bag of these that need to be eaten up, so I will uh, make up a quick burrito to use up these avocados. Um, that's not really true, though, is it? Because I've been eating burritos pretty much every day, and it's really just because I like them. So I'm going to cook off a little bit of some local ground beef. I'm needing to eat a little bit more beef lately, so uh, I just stopped at the store last night and bought some good local ground beef. I'm not going to do all of it here, but uh, make a nice little burrito's worth. So I'm getting the beef fried off here, and then I'm going to throw the beans right in here to the pan because the the meat's almost cooked. I'm just going to throw some of those beans and some of the water, the cooking liquid, along in there because I'm going to do kind of a refry basically here. Is that good? I'm hungry, so I'm maybe I'm making these a little bit too big. I've got some small tortillas, but I've got two of them out. Hopefully this will all fit in the two. Anyway, I'm going to smash these up a little bit as I heat them. And then also, oh, I forgot. I found some ancho chili powder, so I'm going to sprinkle some of that in here too. So that can kind of toast up as I am uh, finishing cooking off and reheating the beans. And finishing cooking the beef, I think is what I meant to say there. I've been thinking that uh, this is my favorite state park in Washington State here. And it may kind of seem like a waste at first. I was thinking it is kind of a waste to be here at my favorite state park and just uh, working away on a project and not enjoying the park. Uh, this is an awesome park in that there are hiking trails all over. Uh, there's a beach down here. Uh, this is not the ocean, of course. This is the sound right out here, but um, it's very ocean-like out here. Uh, and there's just a lot to enjoy here. There's a lot of buildings to enjoy here, too. But then I realized I'm looking at this wrong, aren't I? Uh, I should be looking at this in that I'm doing a project in such a beautiful place. Great weather out. I mean, it's a little windy today, but other than that, great weather out. So then I realized that this is probably the best work spot I could possibly imagine. And this is a perfect place to uh, sit and do a little, well, I wasn't doing a whole lot of sitting today, but perfect place to uh, set up and 
do some work. So uh, yeah, sometimes I have to remind myself to think positively. And today was one of those days, although it wasn't a bad day at all in any way, shape or form, but I still could be thinking a little bit more positive than, uh, than I was at the moment earlier. You know, one of the many things I like about burritos is that they are very quick to put together. Even though I was cooking off the meat and uh, doing a kind of refry on the beans here, this is just a few minutes of time. This is why I like burritos so much. I know not everybody likes a burrito and people think that it's kind of simple food, but I am an extremely simple person, so uh, simple food is absolutely my favorite. I'm gonna need to hurry up and eat these avocados. They're getting to be almost overripe. Maybe I should make some guacamole later. Sounds like a good idea to me. Now I'm putting some cheese in here. I think these are gonna be a little overstuffed. And then I'm gonna go in here with some uh, Yellowbird ghost pepper hot sauce. I'm really liking this stuff, but boy, it's it's very, very spicy. So I just put a few drops in each burrito. And then I come back and add my favorite of the yellow bird, which is the Serrano. And this I can be a little more generous with. It's, uh, it's got some spice to it, but it's good spice, not uh, overpowering spice like that ghost pepper can be. Ghost pepper's got some great flavor, but it is uh, pretty, pretty spicy. Yeah, these are a little overstuffed, but that's okay. I'm hungry. Okay, those burritos were excellent. I could have probably eaten one or two more, but I'm pretty full, actually. The, they were just so tasty, I could have probably kept going if I had them. I think cooking your own beans is really the better way to go. Uh, the beans just taste so much better. Of course, I was using some of my favorite beans with those Anasazi beans, and then those other beans are really good too, so uh, that probably had something to do with how tasty those burritos were. Um, but I will probably still be using some canned beans from time to time, but definitely going to be cooking more beans from scratch from here on out. Um, so I think I've got most of the bed stuff done. I should be done with this little project. I did forget to buy some sealer for the wood, and I'm not all that worried about it because I never sealed my last bed. My last bed was more than seven years old and it was fine. So uh, maybe something I'll get around to. I may just skip it again, who knows. Um, one thing that you might have noticed if you were watching the previous video about the bed build and then this video is I did make some changes with it. Um, I had intended to have uh, six legs on it. Uh, a leg on each corner and then a leg on each side of the middle part of the bed for extra support. But once I got the legs on the four corners, it seemed so sturdy that I decided to just skip the, uh, the fifth and sixth legs for right now. I do have a fifth leg and I almost put it on directly in the center on the center brace, but uh, it's so sturdy right now that I think I'm just gonna keep trying it without uh, any more legs uh, on it because it just opens up the center of the bed and makes it just so much easier to get stuff in and out uh, that way. So I think it's gonna be done. I think this project is done. And again, I can't stress enough just how much more comfortable this bed is. It's just incredible. I will be getting a new mattress for it at some point. Uh, several people asked me where I got the mattress. I did say in the last video where I got it, Fred Meyer. Uh, Fred Meyer is a Kroger chain uh, grocery store, but it's kind of like a super Walmart, basically. Uh, most of them are real big and they stock all kinds of stuff. And this happens to be a piece of foam that uh, they sell as a camper van uh, seat cushion and bed uh, combined. There's a slash in there somewhere. And they're 
on sale right now they're they're about twenty two dollars I think they're about twenty five dollars not not on sale uh, so good deal even if they're not on sale I think it's the best deal um, and I did say all that in the last video but figure I'd say it again um, really good deal if you are near Fred Meyer and so since I am near Fred Meyer's store well actually not at the moment but I will be at some point um, I will be getting a new one just because this one is pretty wore out not that you can tell uh, not that you can tell with the slats and how bouncy they are they just feel fantastic so I can't really tell that the mattresses wore out but it would probably be a good time just to replace it especially uh, with the price points of those mattresses at Fred Meyer and there's a bunch of them if you go to a bigger store they'll have a ton to pick from and you can pick uh, the one that you like the feel of the best. They'll have some kind of firmer ones and some softer ones. So definitely, if you're looking for a mattress, definitely go to a larger Fred Meyer store. Um, it's a place I got mine several years ago. Uh, it has to be about four years old at, at this point now. And um, I should probably call it a wrap today because uh, this park closes at dusk, and I don't know when dusk is. No one ever seems to be able to give me a straight answer about that either whenever I ask. So I'm going to get uh, everything put away and take off. Um, so with that, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.